<laughs> All right, so uh, it's just coming up to uh, four o'clock, so we're going to feed our uh, Silhouette Crested Black Macaques. Now, these guys are actually one of our flagship species down at Newquay, and we hold them in two sites within the trust. So we have seven of them down here. Um, we have a group of three males and four females. They are currently a non-breeding group. Um, as we look over the barrier here, we're just going to chuck them over some food. Again, along the same lines as the lemurs and the fact that here we're all completely fruit-free diets. It's all, it's all veg and dry feed. The dry feed pellet offers them all the high fiber, protein, vitamins they need, but also topped up with veg to keep them busy during the day. So as we look over the top here, you see some size difference. Um, so we've got the big guy, big guy down here, Chiquito. He's the boss. Um, it looks like almost like a little mini gorilla with a silver front there. And he's he's the dominant male in the group. He also has dominant female slightly to the left. And the easiest way to tell the difference between the males and the females, other than their size, is the males have a very bright pink bottom, and it almost looks quite firm. Whereas the, the females have a darker red red bottom. <laughs> And these guys are endemic to the island of Sulawesi in Indonesia and they are part of a, uh, a conservation effort both here and we also work with uh, Silamak Kanyaki which is a, an organisation out in Sulawesi helping to educate the locals and also protect and, and eventually reintroduce some of these animals into, into the wild. And their class is critically endangered. Now these guys, their habitat has been removed to make way for development and uh, also they are hunted as, as a, almost like a delicacy around Easter time and actually um, uh, as a sign of wealth to present one of these on the table so it's really important with that education especially with the younger generations to to express that these guys only exist in the island of Sulawesi and nowhere else and so once they are eradicated from there that's that's pretty much it and um, the Elvis here is a prime example of why these guys can be quite endearing and um, why we need to keep them around now Elvis is pretty fussy, if you chuck him something he doesn't want, he won't even attempt to catch it. There we go, bit of cucumbers alright. Up. Good boy. Broccoli. Yeah, that's a good catch, buddy. Although we feed them here on a lot of veg, we're also putting sticks and branches for them. It's good as a source of browse, so not only is it good for their nutrition and their digestion, but also it's good to keep the plaque off their teeth. So we don't fancy uh, cleaning these guys' teeth every day. So what we do is we'll chuck them in some branches. They'll eat the leaves, which like I say is good for the to process digest digestion, keeps them regular, keeps me in a job. But also, it also they'll strip the bark, especially with the willow. And as they pull that off, that will just rub anything, like I say, like plaque off their teeth keeps them nice and healthy. So we're going to pop down inside now and we're going to uh, feed these guys and see if we can get a little bit closer to them. So again it's the same same monkeys we saw outside and they come in and what we do is so we, pass them, we can pass them through through here but and this is Chiquito so Chiquito obviously not a fan of course yet but we'll pass them through through and we use these windows here as for training windows so what we can do is get them to present like Chiquito's displaying here different parts of his body touch Old, and then what we can do is we'll, we're then able to assess them on a daily basis so we can get them to present their arms, present their feet, open their mouths, station in different positions so if we need to separate them at any, any point we can do that. Also when we need to um, restrain or, or move these guys on anywhere what we ideally want to do is be able to give them an oral sedative to, um, to relax them and then put them to sleep at which point we can go in there and, and, and create them up safely. And so we train these guys to take from a syringe as well, so, so they're able to take medication, especially if there's anything wrong with them. Um, so the three boys down here, the most confident of the group, here and again, like to let us know they're here by communicating. 